Great day to be great. Let's do this. Take 785. No. Dang. Did it good already? All right. Great day to be great. No. One day. One day. One day. All right. All right. Great day to be great. Let's do this. Here's a new website that I created. I'm super pumped about. I think this looks official. I learned it from this easy tutorials um, channel and it was super simple. Follow along with me and I'm gonna show you how to make it. We got this like floating icons of your social media stuff. We got the nav bar here. I think this looks super fresh. Each feature or each um, navigation thing scrolls to. Smooth. All right, let's make it. Uh, so let's close this. We're gonna start from scratch and close my old code out there and we can just close that. So let's first create a folder. Teen Investor. I made it like an investor theme. <clears throat> In the description at the bottom, you'll see a link to all the images that I use for the website. And you'll even see like the placeholder text uh, that I use. I have a Google Drive link that you can click it and download it to your desktop. And then go ahead and just put that in your teen investor folder. And then drag the folder to Visual Studio Code. <clears throat> make sure what will make it easy so that you can get that like live preview will be downloading live server. And then to help you edit your code, um, I download this HTML and CSS support, which helps. Okay. So we're gonna start off with our doc type, HTML, and then our HTML tags, HTML tags. Enter, enter, enter. Your whole web page needs to be wrapped in those HTML tags. And then we start off with our head tags. Our head is like our actual head where our thoughts are in there. So this is the stuff that you don't see on the website. <clears throat> um, and let's actually scale back. Let's go in this first HTML and let's use a lang equals en, boom. And now in our head tag, we're gonna put um, meta space ch set <coughs> equals utf dash eight, good. Close that. And then meta space name equals, this is all the stuff we're gonna use just to set up our website. Port content equals width device dash width initial dash scale equals one. All right. All righty. Boom. Boom. Okay. And now I want to make this actually full screen so you can see it better. And my title of my page is going to be Teen Investor. Teen Investor. Every time you make a change, see this little white dot's going to pop up? File save. Nice. And then you can hit go live. And now we're live. And I'm gonna put this as its own full screen. Boom. And you see right here, that's, the, that's where the title goes. Teen Investor. Boom. Okay. 
Now, also, as we're coding this website, we will be doing, we'll coding up our styles as well. So, I'm gonna make my CSS folder, and then a file, style.css, enter. All right, so I got my CSS folder, and in the folder I have my CSS file. And now let's link that. We also put that in the head. So you'll do link rel equals style sheet href. This is where the file path is. It's in the CSS folder, forward slash, and the file name is style.css. Boom. Okay, we're set up. I'll say we're set up. I'm actually going to start off. Oh, one more thing on the HTML first before we go to CSS is the body. Here we want to put in the body tags, this is where we put everything that we're going to see on the website. Boom. Head tags you don't see, body you do see. Save. All right, we're going to start off with our universal styles and what I like to do is use comments to to break up my styles like a like a divider so it stays organized and I like to start with my universal selectors universal styles universal styles boom 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 it doesn't matter how many asterisks there are I just like to make it clear and to make the universal selector use the asterisks got the curly braces curly fries curly brackets I call them curly braces margin zero padding zero and um, font family so I'm gonna have all the font to be this boom good job all right 